This video will introduce the automated reports tool that has been added to the RCB, SLB and PTD software. Uh, the aim of this tool is to essentially automate the extraction of data from the inductor programs and combine it all into a report. Um, the programs since ever have always been able to create individual reports um, and the engineer to create a final report would have to extract these reports out one by one and then combine them manually into a single file. And the same goes for uh, any any graphical output, any screenshots. Screenshots had to be manually taken and um, put into a final report manually. This entire process has now been automated. Uh, also, a another goal of this tool is to give um, give flexibility in how the report is created and formatted, so how the sections are arranged. Specifically, what um, what comprises of this automated report tool is, we have an inbuilt screenshot tool. As the majority of the software's output is graphical, so for example, the deflections, the reinforcement, um, we need to have a way to capture this information and um, and store it within the file itself so we this is now done by the new screenshot tool the master report tool basically is where the structure of your final report is created so the individual reports that the software may create uh, so for example reports from the reports tab structure summary loading um, reports nested inside other tools punching shear etc they can all be um, they can all be input into your final report via the master report tool. Any screenshots that were taken previously can also be slotted in in the desired location using the master report tool. Um, once the structure of the report is is created, then we then we hit publish, and the uh, the program automatically creates a final report based on the information that was specified. Um, and exported to the desired format Word, Excel, PDF, or text. Uh, let's jump into the SLB software and see how this new automated reports tool works. If we look at the visibility tab on the left here, we see there's a new tab available to us, the screenshots tab. And we've got some new buttons, uh, screenshot, and uh, screenshot box that allow us to capture images of the working area. Going to the r reports tab, we have all of the individual reports that the software was able to produce. Uh, this will vary between the SLB, PTD and RCB programs. And we have a new master report button here. Pressing on the master report button, we see the individual reports that are available to us and any screenshots that we, we have taken. Screenshots is blank, none have been taken. Some reports are available. Um, they're available because we've run an analysis, the programs produce results. And then here we have the report structure. We haven't we haven't done anything yet, we haven't created our final report structure yet, so this is blank. Pressing report settings, uh, we specify the format that we export to. We can have some company logos, put in project titles if desired, um, and select the paper size orientation. If we hit exit, the report settings are also available under the settings tab. <coughs> Before we start creating the master report, um, we are creating a report from SLB, so deflections, reinforcement, um, punching shear results, those will be the results that will be of most interest to us. Those results are best conveyed graphically, so we will start looking at um, those results on screen and taking screenshots of them. So we'll go to results, um, we'll select load combination 50% total, deflections, KCS, make the text bigger, start showing some more results on screen, and we'll hit screenshot K. Hovering over the image, the program has created the file for us. If we hover over the screenshot itself, it tells us um, the view in which it was created and the result itself. And we can save this as view externally print um, if needed. So this is creating a uh, 
an image file saved with the the SLB file itself. We're quickly going through and looking at deflections via the recommended simplified method showing the same nodes. Hit the shortcut K to take a screenshot and then same for Eurocode and hit the shortcut K again. The program is populating the results for us. Hit escape to clear um, and we'll now start pulling up our punching shear results. We'll do the punching shear check again. And we're doing an envelope design. We'll minimize this, we'll close it, adjust our text size and start selecting the text just so that it's a bit clearer. So hopefully we don't have to take more than one screenshot to capture all this information. And then we hit K again. And in a similar way, we can show reinforcement in the bottom X. Just take a few screenshots quickly and I'll just sort of show top X. I won't do Y just for the purposes of this demonstration. See a few numbers on screen. Okay, with a few a few screenshots created, um, we'll go and the analysis run. Of course, we go to the master report and we'll start creating the final report structure. So, report structure on the right, uh, the re the results available to us on the left. The first thing I'll put in input data uh, and load summary reactions and thickness and pressure. Let's expand this out. We see some warnings here will not be published in valid settings. Now this is occurring because uh, the software, the, there can be a series of different inputs for this particular report. The program doesn't know what information to send out. If we see this message, we select it, we hit edit and load case nothing selected so I will select uh, all I'll just do all of them select all so I'll deselect and just manually select the ones that have load in them hit OK same for reactions I select it hit edit let's do load combination and the program has already selected the envelope for us already Looking at the reports tab here, we see we have the option for beams, beam reports as well, but they're greyed out. Uh, this is because no beams have been modelled. If beams existed, this will be available. Now let's go to our screenshots tab. Let's start putting in our information. So vertical deflection. This was KCS. We'll insert after, insert after, insert after. We'll go back to our reports tab, put in our punching shear report, insert after, screenshots, and insert our punching shear screenshot. Double check our report settings. We're going to set, send it to uh, Microsoft Word with a cover page and we'll hit OK. And then to create this final report um, using all of the data that has been specified in this master report tool, all we need to do is hit publish. Now the program is creating these individual reports that we've specified for the load cases combinations, um, creating the tables, creating the word file for us. And if we scroll down, we can see 
the report has been created, sections created based on the data that was input into the master report tool. So input data is here. If we scroll down further, we have load cases report. Scrolling down further, thicknesses and pressures, and then the screenshots that we took and the data that was uh, selected, the nodes, all shown, some information, separated into sections. Punching shear report is here as well. And finally, the final punching shear image. And one final remark, if uh, the structure has, gets changed, the results are lost. For example, if I add something in, the program automatically recognizes that the structure has been changed. The screenshots uh, go, go uh, turn to red, meaning that they are no longer current. We can still add, well, they still remain. We can still add them to the report, but we just get some visual indication that we need to update these. As we can see, it's a very quick and easy tool to use. And as a final summary overview of how everything works, we need to run the analysis to get results. Um, we use the screenshot manager to take screenshots of the desired results, either the entire working area or a section of the working area. We open the master report to create the final report structure. We slot in individual reports and screenshots that we've taken. We edit the settings of reports as needed. Um, and keep in mind, some reports may need another analysis done. So for example, uh, if the frequency report is grayed out in RCB, that is because the frequency analysis has not been run. And finally, we press publish for the software to generate uh, the final report for us in the desired format. And this concludes this video. Thank you for watching.